everybody once again dr salim is here with you guys uh, let's uh, discuss some more uh, ARDMS registry exam uh, review questions similar like ARDMS questions and let's make our um, ARDMS SPI examination easier to pass it on the first attempt okay so here are the questions let's discuss some more questions now the question is from the interference of two waves uh, that they are out of phase and have a different amplitudes. It will result as below. If there are two waves which are out of phase, but their amplitudes are different, it means they are not equal to each other. So what will be the result? Let's see, it's a, it will produce a strong amplitude, it will produce a weaker amplitude, uh, no amplitude or all of the above. What do you think, which one can be the best option to be chosen? Exactly. B is the correct answer. It will be weaker because some of the amplitude will defense, they will actually cancel each other and then still because one is strong, one is weaker. So the stronger still will have some of the amplitude remaining. Okay. So that is B is the correct answer. Now, let's do this question. All of the following are synonymous for ultrasound frequency, except which of the following can also be known as ultrasound frequency, but which one is not the one? So we're looking for the one which is not. So it's a center frequency, primary frequency, resonant frequency, or bandwidth, which one? Yes, bandwidth is exception, correct. Now let's do the next question quickly. Okay, this is a little tricky question. The question is asking that the 3D imaging is sometimes called which of the following? Is it compounding imaging? Is it trapezoidal imaging? Is it 4D imaging? Is it tom uh, tomographic imaging? Is it none of the above? So what do you think? Yes, sometimes they are called 4D imaging when they are in a move, when they are uh, dynamic, when they are in a movement, then that's called uh, 4D imaging, correct. Next question. Next question is almost the same like this, but with a little bit difference. So the question is asking that bracket, like what we should put here, is a new way of displaying diagnostic information obtained in a static or dynamic 3D data set. What do you think? Tissue harmonic imaging, tomographic ultrasound imaging, compounding imaging, speckle reduction imaging, or all of the above. Yes, exactly. Tomographic ultrasound imaging. That is the correct answer. So remember, on the above, there was tom uh, tomographic imaging, but that was not ultrasound. That's the only word which will differentiate them. So uh, tomographic ultrasound imaging is a new way of displaying diagnostic information obtained in static, or we can say dynamic 3D uh, data sets. That is the correct answer. C is the correct answer. Good job. Let's do the next question. Now, LATA, L-A-T-A, stand for which uh, in a case of resolution? Like, which resolution, if you know about the resolution, LATA or L-A-T-A is the abbreviation of um, which of the following we can say? Choose the correct option. Is it longitudinal angular transverse in azimuthal? Is it lateral angular transverse in azimuthal? Is it longitudinal axial? Uh, transformation and azimuthal, or is it low angular transverse azimuthal? What do you think which one is the correct answer? Because LATA is actually the name of some resolution, so which one is the correct? The, the LATA stand for what? Exactly, B is the correct answer. Lateral angular transverse and azimuthal. This is also called lateral resolution. These are four names for lateral resolution, so all of them are used for the same concept lateral resolution, correct. Next question, select, no, selective reception of echoes generated within the body by nonlinear propagation can describe the following. Like this nonlinear waves are which waves? That's the basically the question is asking. Is it tissue harmonics? Is it special compounding? Is it spe uh, speckle reduction imaging? Is it tomographic ultrasound imaging? Or is it contrast imaging? What do you think? Because we have two types of waves, right? Linear and nonlinear. So this is which, which imaging is that? Exactly, tissue harmonics imaging. So the harmonics waves are nonlinear uh, waves, we can call it that. That is the correct answer. Okay. Now let's see next question. Okay. 
how much is the thickness of a matching layer of a transducer so of course you guys know that there is in the transducer the anatomy of the transducer we have damping material we have wires we have crystal or pzts and then we have a matching layer and then after we have a protected uh, rubber and then after that we put the gel so that matching layer which match the impedance of the crystal and the tissue that matching layer what is the thickness of that so is it one fourth we can say uh, on the wavelength of the ba uh, backing layer is it half of the wavelength of the backing layer? Is it uh, half of the wavelength of the transducer? Is a uh, one fourth uh, of the wavelength of the transducer or none of the above? Yes, D is the correct answer. One fourth of the wavelength of a transducer. That is absolutely, it's a very tiny, small, like really thin layer, we can say. All right, next question. After freezing an image, where it's stored like when you freeze the image where it goes where it for the storage of course where it goes only freezing i'm talking about so is it in the transducer is it in the receiver is it in a scan converter is the beam farmer or is it none of the above yes that will go to scan converter that is absolutely correct okay next question Choose the correct order in which the signals travel in an ultrasound system. Like, what is in order? What is the correct way of this um, question? Like, asking, like, what are the correct way? So, transducer, receiver, scan converter, and display. Is it scan converter, receiver, transducer, display, receiver, transducer, uh, scan converter, display, transducer, scan converter, receiver, and then display? So, what do you think? Which one is the correct answer? Think about it. I will give you a little time. Yeah, so what do you think? Which one is the correct answer? Yes, I agree. Is the correct answer. Transducer, and they take it to the receiver. Receiver take it to the uh, scan converter, and from there it will come on the display on the screen. You can see it. Okay, now let's do the next question. Which of the following will create a fever or less pulses? Like the question is asking, which of the following will have less pulses per scan line? Actually, that's the question. So let's see. Multifocuses, single focus, high line density, or backing material. What do you think? Exactly. When we have a single focal point. So the one focus you have, you will have one scan, one pulse per scan line, actually. So that's the minimum we can have the list. Okay, next question is very easy. What is the smallest amount of computer memory? Is it a pixel? Is it a byte? Is it a by stable? Is it a bit? Is it none of the above? Yes, I agree. It's BIT, bit binary system. Correct. D is the correct answer. Okay, next question. Which of the following is true regarding right magnification? Choose the best option. So what do you think? The ultrasound system scan the anatomy and display only the original data. The number of pixels and scan lines increased. Um, this is the form of post-processing and the image is converted from digital to analog system. So what do you think, which one is? Actually, basically the question is for the right magnification, like which of the following can be done in the right magnification? Exactly correct. B is the correct answer. Of course, you're right. The number of pixels in scan line will increase while you freeze, before you freeze. So you zoom something and after that you take the picture. So that's a right magnification. That's a pre-processing in a real time. Correct. Next. Sonographic images are usually compressed before sending to the PAC system, picture archiving and communicating system. Why? why they are compressed. What is the reason for compressing? To reduce the time to transmit the images, to increase the special resolution of the image, to preserve measurements with the image data, or to increase the real-time image frame rate. What do you think which one is the correct answer? Before we send the images uploaded to the PAC system, which one uh, is the reason for this? Exactly, B is the correct answer. Increase the, sorry, sorry. To reduce, A is the correct answer. I'm sorry, my bad. Reduce the time to transmit the images because when we transmit it, we just make it more compressed 
to make it more easy for the transmission time, correct. Okay, next question. Okay, it's just a bracket. Is the number of oscillation per unit time? Which of the following is the correct word to put it? And that will be a complete definition in that case. So what do you think? Frequency of the sound wave, uh, the amplitude of the pressure uh, of pressure changes, attenuation, the speed at which sound propagates through a given medium. Which of these one we should put here to be a meaningful and complete definition? I agree, correct. A is the correct answer. If we say frequency of a sound wave is the number of oscillation per unit time. It can be second, it can be millisecond, it can be microsecond. And then from here we can tell from there that it's hertz, kilohertz, or megahertz. So it will be, the unit of the frequency will be related to the unit of time. Next. All right, now <clears throat> this is also a definition. What we should put from the bottom, from all these options to make this sentences more meaningful and also same thing like to complete the definition. Half of its portion is in the Fresnel zone and half of its portion is in the Fraunhofer zone. So what do you think, which one we should put there to complete and give more meaningful to this sentences or definition? Yes, correct. Focal zone. So focal zone, we're gonna write here, B is the correct answer. Focal zone, half of its portion is in the Fresnel zone and half of it is in the Fraunhofer zone. So it is in the middle, half that way and half that way from the focal point. So that is focal zone is the correct answer. Okay, let's do this question. Very tricky, not a tricky question. I mean, simple question, but just pay attention to the picture first. What is, sorry, what is the direction of blood flow in the following image? In this image, what do you think? Which way is blood going? Is it going away from the transducer or is it going towards the transducer? What do you think? So not only away and towards, but also right and left. So is it right to the left? Is it from the left to the right? A in B is the correct, none of the above is correct. What do you think? Exactly, this is power Doppler. There is no movement catch up that this is going to this direction or that. It's only telling you that there is a movement, but not telling you the direction, which way is the moving going. So none of the above. It is, we don't know about the direction, but we can tell that there is a blood flow, there is a flow. So only it will catch the move, not the direction. Okay, so that is a non-directional modality. That's a power doctor. Next question. Almost there. So. Which of the following helps to improve axial resolution and the B mode imaging or brightness mode, or you can say 2D imaging? Does it increase the aperture size? Is it increase the bandwidth? Is it use focusing with an acoustic lens? Is it increase the dynamic range or none of the above? Very good and tricky question. What do you think? You know, we have a different resolutions, uh, like we have axial resolution, lateral resolution, elevational resolution, temporal resolution, and contrast resolution. So we have these resolutions. Now, the question is, which of the following will improve the axial resolution and then 2D imaging? Exactly, I agree with you, increase the bandwidth. Because the bandwidth is actually, we can say, it just depends on the formula for the bandwidth is that bandwidth is equal to operating frequency divided by the quality factor. And the quality factor is actually the number of cycles in a short pulse that is called quality factor. If you have smaller number, it means you have to use a high frequency. So with a high frequency transducer, the quality factor, when we put more axial, axial resolution is determined by the uh, damping material by the SPL, special pulse length. To make the SPL shorter, so your axial resolution will be better. To make that, you have to put more damping material to the transducer. So to put more damping material, the number of cycle will decrease in a, a pulse. So this way, increase the bandwidth. That is the correct answer, B is the correct answer. Next, what appears as a small amplitude echoes from electrical in, um, interference that affect low level echoes, lucent areas. What do you think? Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's a little tough question. Correct. 
D is the correct answer, noise. So that will just make a small amplitude echoes. That will be the noise. That will be the extra noise we can say. Exactly correct. Let's do the next question. Which of the following is the most appropriate response when the patient refuses on examination? Why well, you do exam of a patient and the patient is not agree? They just refuse it. They don't want to do to scan them for any of that test. So what do you think what will be you do uh, if the patient is not agree with you and they refuse to, to be scanned? So convince the patient and proceed. Immediately stop the exam and leave. Uh, ignore the patient and just proceed. Don't worry. <laughs> RD, place sedation and proceed. What do you think which is which one is the correct uh, decision to be taken? Exactly, B is the correct answer. If, if the patient is not agreed, just immediately stop exam and leave the room. And just talk to, of course, talk to your manager, talk to the supervisor, uh, you know, to the head who is the department head. So just tell them, but stop it because it is um, against the law. So you have to be um, careful with that. Okay, let's do the last question, but not the least. Okay, this is the question. Now, the focal zone is the region around the focal point where the beam is relatively narrow. The beam is the narrowest. The beam is a half of the beam diameter of the transducer. The beam is one fourth of the beam diameter of the transducer. What do you think? Where is that region around the focal point, focal zone? What is the focal zone? What's the good definition for that? Which option is the correct option? Exactly. Exactly. That is the easiest question. Relatively narrow because it's not asking for focal point. It's asking for focal zone. Zone is an area, not a specific spot. So that's why it's not the narrowest or it's not half of the diameter because these two B and C is almost the same thing. Okay. So relatively narrow. That is the correct answer. Okay, my dear students, my dear colleagues, my dear healthcare providers, friends, uh, healthcare providers. So please, once again, uh, we will keep going this uh, continuous of these all questions, review questions. Uh, it will help a lot, I hope. And uh, please, again, try to share the link, the, your, the YouTube channel to the all those healthcare providers who really need this. If they want knowledge or they want to sit for the ERMS registry examinations. So just uh, subscribe the channel also to get more upcoming uh, notifications. Thanks a lot and take care. See you later.